All right, we got Nino back here. A little bit of context. Uh, Nino's been gone for the last couple months. He's been sleeping. He's been like, like sleep, like like to sleep, just peacefully. And then all of a sudden, the ban list dropped. Konami released uh, Harp Horror back to one. And then he just like <laughs> he woke up and arose from from the ashes, came back to locals, and he got first place uh, with his Horus Orchest. Uh, bestial. bestial pile, the HBO package. He made all of his opponents pay a, a monthly subscription to play against him. Subscribe to him. Yes, please subscribe to me, my channel. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. Um, if you guys have any questions about the deck profile or have any opinions, leave a comment. Um, but let's get into the profile and see what Nino has uh, up cooking for us. Yo yo yo! I played Orcus. This is a. This is my original favorite deck. Um, this is what I'm known for. I came in toss format. That's what I started playing competitively. So this is like my 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 favorite deck, and uh, this is what I've been playing. Shout out to Trail from Team APS. Uh, he originally was playing this before the ban list, and I was as well. And I just changed it so after the ban list. So I'm giving credit to the original person who posted a video about it, which is Trail from Team APS. Um, but this is my twist on it. Three Ash as a hand trap. Uh, very generic. I play like 11 non-engine, um, so it's still got a pretty good count, but Ash was the only like hand trap that I played. Um, that, that's it for the hand traps. Um, then I play three Gearsu, one Harp, one Symbol, uh, double Nightmare, and one Wand. So I have a theory about this. I think everybody's playing this package wrong. A lot of people will play three Nightmare, two Skeleton, uh, and like Brass Bombard, but I don't think you need that many Orcus because you, you want cards that do stuff in your hand. So uh, I think one harp, one symbol, one wand, well, obviously one harp, but one symbol, one wand are the best. And then Nightmare should only be at two because the card that you want to see is Gearsu, but if you see Nightmare, you can still do the combo. But I think everyone's playing too many numbers of these. You should, it shouldn't be more than this. And you don't need Gizmek. Stop banishing your deck. Like <laughs> you're losing to Runic by giving them free cards. Um, the Horus engine, I play three, I'm steady and happy. Um, I was playing Darumatef and then uh, it's Quebesenef for anyone who doesn't know how to say it. But I was playing all of them, but I never found any use for Quebesenef or Darumatef, so I just kept happy and I'm messy. Um, if the, when the field spell comes out, I will play another Horus monster, whether it be. Um, the Rumatef or Kobesnef, but I, I will switch it up to four. So I play Bissules, I only play six. Uh, this is the only number you need, three Lubelion and then one of each. You don't need Baldrake. Uh, you technically don't need Sornir. You could play double Jerusalem if you want to, because all you really want to see is these two. We don't, I don't play Blanded Beast, I just play the Regain, so uh, you only need these. Um, also pay attention to your zones. Gearsu plus a Bissule is um, Despater or Baron if you set up your zones correctly. So uh, Gearsu's level four, these are level six. You can synchro summon with Gearsu if there's two or more cards in the column. It is a mech knight, so remember that. So some spice cards that I run is, uh, I run Sharon. What the fuck is that? Uh, this card's crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> this card has won me four games straight. Um, a lot of people don't expect this card to be like in this deck at all. Um, and a lot of the times what you'll do is like, you'll start your combo with Sharon. And if, if they're not ready, like Sharon will lead into like, like breaking boards, Sharon will lead into a dark, which goes into an SP, which can go into a unicorn or an access code. So um, people don't respect Sharon uh, because it's not like, we're not, we're not a tier deck, but like Sharon pitch nightmare, do full combo, break a board, it's crazy. Um, and then for my tuner package, I play Assault Synchron. Um, so, Obviously, this is a really good level two. Um, so the reason why I run this over the Vision Resonator package is it's a level two dark machine. So when your Orcus locked, you can still summon it. If you're locked off of Crescendo, you can still summon it. Um, you can use it as an extender, um, uh, like for whatever you need. Uh, it's a level two body. Uh, this is also, uh, if your Orcus combo gets stopped, this is a dark machine that banishes itself. So Galatea can put it back. And a lot of people think that like, the, the Vision Resonator is better, but this plays into Orcus. So uh, the reason that I, the, la the last reason that I run this is because all three engines, the Horus, the Bestial, and the Orcus engine, they fuel each other. And I needed a tuner that fit well with all three engines. And this was the only one I found. Um, for spells, we play Triple Droplet, uh, Triple Tuning. Uh, this is the best card in this deck. 
uh, it says mill. And <laughs> I don't I don't think people really like understand that like milling is broken. Uh, especially in Orcus, I've milled cymbal like four times. I've milled harp off of this. It says mill. I don't know what you want. Um, <laughs> Drop is the best card in any deck that can facilitate it. Um, decks like Drytron, um, decks decks that don't need their hand to play the game, they can play out of their graveyard, they should probably play droplets. Uh, I don't agree with siding this card. I like catching people off guard and main decking it and then taking it out of my main, uh, making them play around it. Um, I do play two talents. Um, it, I don't have to explain this card, it's talents. Um, so I only play two King Sark. Uh, if anybody wants to donate uh, a QCR to me, I'd be, I'd be happily Happily, happily accepting. Um, yeah, shoot me an email, candledules at gmail.com. Yeah, I, I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, but um, I only play two. The only reason why I play two is because you just don't want to draw it. Um, like, yeah, draw is a thing, but I'd rather search it off M. Seti and then, like, someone hand trap me. So um, I, I just prefer the two. Um, one regain, one return. I wasn't running this at first. This card is... I've been, I've been playing Orcus since 2019, so this card can be kind of boo-boo sometimes, but I played it over the regain. Uh, one, f this is basically an Orcus card. It should say uh, f Foolish Orcus, but you know, it's whatever. Uh, and then Babel, this is probably the strongest field spell in the game. Uh, like, I think this is stronger than uh, Runic Fountain. Turning Orcus monsters into quick effects, you can dodge Bestials, you can dodge Dark. It's, it's kind of a crazy card, and people like sleep on it. Um, one counter trap. Uh, there's some... Cool little synergy that I'll show you with this in the extra deck because of the bestials, um, but you kind of need to run this, um, and it's it's mandatory. And then uh, three imperm, uh, yeah, they're mismatch rarities. They're from the rarity collection. Uh, if you if you want to donate me some all oh, some ultimate imperms, uh, <laughs> you can do that as well. Um, but yeah, I think you got to run this. Um, you just don't want to play in the talents. Like Ash is the only hand trap that I'm okay with playing in the talents. Orcus doesn't really have a problem breaking boards. You don't really care. So that was it. Um, for my extra deck. Um, so I'm gonna show you the weird synchros first and then I'll explain it and get it out the way. So we play Assault. Oh, I turned this around, I'm crazy. So we play Assault, shout out to Trail, like I said, for the original deck profile. These three synchros, these three, these three synchro eights are crazy. Um, a lot of people don't pay attention to anything that you're doing because it's Orcus cards and because it's like Vistiel and Horus. Um, but this is crazy because you can do this even when you're dark locked. So you can, you can play with Orcus. If they stop the Orcus, then you can start trying to find ways to synchro climb. If you go into this and they go into Despater, it brings this back out. I mean, and like you, you just steal games. It's really easy to like nuke your opponent's attack position monsters by synchro summoning into the Despater and then summoning Ding and using Ding's effect to send whatever is left and then just having more than 10k damage on, on board. So I really think these are good. Um, this is for the turn one combo. I never use one of these going first. I always use this going first. Um, and it's just because you want to make Despater and then you want to tribute it for Lubelion and then bring Despater back and then have Assault Banish. So that way you can make a Baron. Like if you use this right, this should be two Synchro 10s and not one. A lot of, a lot of, I see a lot of people make one Synchro 10 with this and you're just using the card wrong. Um, then I play Decipator and Baron. Uh, obviously these are the best Synchros. I barely made this. This card is like mid. Um, I barely made this. I always made this. Uh, this is just a better card. It's an extender. Uh, it's, it's a sticky interaction to play with because like a lot of people like to activate Pross going first and then they like make this a good card. So yeah, uh, but you need Baron. Uh, a lot of my plays when I get stopped are like Baron IP pass, so. Uh, we only play three XEs. Shout out to the QCR Ding. He's so nice. He's so clean. Uh, and then we play Zombie Vampire and Photon Lord. Um, so you have to play these. I never make this. I, I, every game that I've won, I haven't made this. This is this is just here in case you like really really brick, or like someone stops one of the like if someone stops an important Orcus card like, and you want to keep playing. But I never make this. I always just make number ninety, or I just don't make an XA at all. I make one of the synchros. But I don't know. I, I you can't cut this because you need the mill. But I never make this. This card is just here. Um. So my my my. X Xyz and Synchros are like the, the base of it, but my actual like power comes from my Link Monsters, uh, the QCR Unicorn. Yes, I still play Unicorn. Uh, Double Gal, um, Dark, IP, and SP Little Knight. Um, so 
these two are the ones that are like quote unquote debatable. You can make this an, a, a Boro Sword, which is like Orcus's best friend, and then you can make this Long Gear Suit if you want to. It doesn't need to be Unicorn, um, but you just need a Link Three and a Link Four because you want to climb up, not climb down. Um, this card is crazy because you can take people's SP. Uh, fun fact, you can banish SP Little Knight if they try to uh, keep SP Little Knight from being taken from Dark. You can banish SP Little Knight with a Abyssal and then take it with this pedder anyway. So uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dark is good to make people get rid of their own SP. Uh, you need two Gal because you, the, this is the only thing that fuels the deck. If you don't have this card, then I don't know what you're doing. Um, IP is usually what you're ending on all the time. Um, I give away my extra deck, or my side deck. My side deck is kind of strange. Yeah, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, one Harpies, one Lightning Storm. Before I move on, I know I'm not playing Thrust. I have a very harsh opinion on Thrust this format. I don't like the card. You would rather just see one of the cards you draw off Thrust, so shoot me in the comments, but I'm not playing it. Um, my MVP of last night, uh, Econ. So, this deck's a very simple deck. Uh, like, Orcus, Orcus's main goal is very simple. Um, Econ is probably the best card that you would want in your hand when you're going second, because you can use the Horus and the Bistial to bait out a bunch of interactions. And if your normal summon is like Gearsu, uh, you can activate Gearsu's effect, and if they Imper and Veiler, you, you finish breaking the board with Econ, and then it's just GG's. Um, Triple Cosmic, uh, shout out to my locals. We got a bunch of bozos who keep playing Runic cards. Yeah, shout out to my locals. Uh, three Bell. Um, three droll and double nib. So as long as I play Orcus, I'm gonna play this card because there's a, a cheesy interaction with Nightmare and Babel. You can activate uh, uh, Nibiru and then chain Nightmare and Nightmare will dark lock you. So it's kind of like Labyrinth where a nib will tribute the board and nothing gets summoned. So that was my profile. Uh, thank you Konami for freeing heart. I have no I have no wish no more. They gave her hold back. I'm happy that I got my, own, my card back and I'm happy to be playing my deck again. Um, thank you Cam for giving me a, a, a spotlight on your channel again to do another profile. Yeah. Uh, everybody pray comments to Ziamen and Foxy too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's super cool to see a heart pour get on band. It's like kind of like a Christmas miracle for you. Yeah. Um, coming back and you're just like, like getting to play your favorite deck again. I've been um, waiting for this card to get on band for almost three, four years now. And there's been a lot of uh, experimentation and speculation as far as like where the deck is going to be headed in the future. Yeah. Um, do you see this version that you've made being one of the more stronger variants or will there be kind of more experimentation with other splashable engines or anything else, else in the future? So I think, <clears throat> truth be told, in the fire format, I have to do a little bit more testing um, because I think that there's a couple interactions between the fire kings that are like haven't been fully thought about yet but in terms of like the beginning of the format before we get um, phantom nightmare i think that i think our format is in a good enough spot to where skill will carry more players than you playing broken cards so if you know how to use your interactions and if you know how to play the deck uh, which is a lot to say but if you know how to play the deck like in a in a in a very good sequence way like you won't ever run out of plays and you can never get out grinded in this deck because all three of the engines refuel each other like happy being able to add back banished cards or cards in your grave um the bisto engine setting up regain so you can put back your orcus cards uh despater being a, an extender uh gal being able to get you cards to draw like it's really hard for you to lose if the Fire King stuff proves to be more dominant, we would just switch hand traps. Um, but I think out of all variations, this is the most consistent with explosiveness that the format has without sacrificing what Orcus does. So I think it'll be the one of the stronger variations, but I don't think it's the only variation moving forward. Amazing. Well, I appreciate you uh, going over your list and uh, kind of running things down for everybody. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything uh, or have your own uh, feedback as far as like um, you know what, what you know how would you want to uh, build Arcus or anything? Uh, feel free to leave in the comments section. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed and uh, hope you guys have a good uh, happy new year. And we'll see you guys uh, uh, in the next one. Peace.